Um, I'm just wondering why we have to spend this morning speaking about uh, people deciding to swim in the pool when they actually said they were demonstrating for reforms at the EC. But be as it may, I mean, this has been a conversation that has gone on since I think 2018, should I even say 2017. And it helps to go back to how this all started. I mean, when you look at the setup of the board of trustees of the <clears throat> National Cathedral, it's made up of revered men and uh, men of God and women of God. If I'm wrong, <clears throat> Uh, all of you, I, I want to believe the four of you are all Christians. No. You are not? Oh, okay. So three of you are. So if I'm wrong, just uh, uh, correct me. I don't think that uh, if the Christian community in this country didn't identify with the need for an interdenominational uh, worship ground, for because it had been a conversation that had been going, be as it may, His Excellency the President made um, a promise that he was going to um, build a cathedral with that nature of something that um, the, the Christian made community, a to who? of course, to the nation. Who was he talking to? So he made that promise, but what was it? I remember in the 2019 budget, it was stated that government was going to give land and give seed money. But every other thing will be private sector and investment and other people. So where we've got into, I also want to believe that if we hadn't gotten into the challenges we are, I doubt this would have become a conversation. But whichever way, what's the way forward? When you look at the, I've maintained on this set before that the edifice at Kanda, the Ghana National Mosque, I would love to see it around um, the country at the regional levels too. But in that same principle, I don't think that building a place of interdenominational service for the Christian community is something out of place. I think it's something that you could. We have a lot of individual places and all that. Church, churches have done a lot. And when you even look at our nation set up officially, we are secular uh, country, but we have majority being Christians. I think from the last uh, census of 2021, we had some 71%, 71.3% Christian population. So I think that if it's something that uh, the Christian leadership has accepted, and we all agree that it must be pursued. I mean, it's come with its own controversies and all that. I remember in the 2024 budget, some money was allocated to and ended up going to communication and I think health or education. So where are we now? Does the Christian community accept that they need such a place? Can we all come together? Because I remember even because of this uh, acceptance, the chief imam donated to it. He also came with his own issues. But is this something that we all think, in principle, we need. My sisters here can also help me with that. But when you look at the people who are accepted to lead this, these are people who lead Christian Dome in this country. Was the principle wrong? Ir irrespective of the challenges, is this something that is relevant? We may have issues with the approach. We may have issues with the site, but the principle of getting... Right, so you haven't answered that question. What, what, questions uh, what do we intend Bill, um, with the current state? What do we intend to do with the National Cathedral Project? From what I gather now, a team led by uh, Dr. Joyce Ayi is engaging investors to come in and help. I mean, I think it's the same approach that was used for the National Mosque. It was the Turkish government that came in. Don't forget that that land that uh, the National Mosque, Mosque sits now, was given to Chief Imam by former President Rollins in 1995 when a mosque at where Rollins Park was built was demolished. That project went on for about 10 years until the, some concerned Muslim youth came in. 
started engaging people. And today, we have the edifice we have there. But so it's something that can be done if the Christian community, led by its leaders and private sector, come. And that is, why Dr. that is what Dr. Baumia reiterated when he met the clergy. He thinks that it must be a partnership between private sector and Christian dome in this country to make sure that that edifice becomes a reality. So that is where what we are we, now. How much were we supposed to initially invest in then? Ghana was supposed to give seed money and land. Okay. Was the I seed money supposed to be again. $58 million? I have no idea about that. You need to check with the secretariat. But what I know in the 2019 budget was that government was going to give land mm. and some seed capital. Then it will be the board of trustees will go out. I remember they even went to, I think, some churches to advocate for people donating and all that. And even when you go to the website, there's a bold donate uh, icon on the website for anyone who is interested. That's how come different other leaders of other uh, religions donated to it. Okay. So I don't, I don't Ma really see. Maybe I can, I can be educated Ayana. better on it. When Anaya started, she was emphatic that she believes in getting a cathedral for the nation. Mm. So that was why I said that. In the beginning, I said that. We, the principle of having that is something that they all accept. I haven't seen or heard any of them who is against that principle. We may have issues. But allow to look at what is like. No, it's no, no, not can I, I beg talk? You. I beg you. Can I talk? No, no, your, you, your turn will come. No, no, please. Relax. Look relax. At your turn will come. Nanya, your turn will come. Relax. Here. I won't come and sit here. What kind of life is this? She, she, I please, come she, she's entitled here. to the Listen, view. And, and I Laura, to please go ahead. I will come and sit here and raise my BP because some unscrupulous individuals decided to break into a site Ooh. and go and who and who are the unscrupulous who are meant allegedly who still and raise and raise, and raise my BP. Another, you believe this, uh, another thing. I will uh, come and okay. sit here this morning and raise my BP okay. because so they stole equipment to, when this that is what is which, alleged. Which I was there. I'll show you the statement. There's I'll show no, you the statement. Which equipment but let's go to the issue at hand. Please let me finish. My time on. Nanea and all of us, please, let me establish here that yes. everybody's entitled to their opinion. Loratu is on the floor and Loratu, you're entitled. Please go ahead. Yes, Papa Ro, that's what I'm saying, that I want to deal with the issue. Please, please you are And I'm entitled. going go back ahead. to what Nanaya has said. She said, in principle, she agrees to yes, have do. a national cathedral. Exactly. So I, I will come and sit Laura, here um, Nanea, and please. major in the minors. Let's talk about the issue. Like I said, I haven't had any Christian leader correct me if I'm wrong. Or, yeah, I mean, people will say, oh, it's not a priority and all that. But the principle of having an interdenominational cathedral is something they all accept. Things may not have gone as they are. Because even with the uh, price, initially, it was, um, I think, $100 million or so. But now, it's gone to about, I think, about 250 or so. I need to check with the secretary because of other attending issues and all that. Right. So that is something that has to be done. 2019, like I said, it was stated that government was going to support with land. And that is it. There's a land there cordoned off for the project. 2024, there was some money allocated to it because of the delay. And... Parliament representing all of us went against it, and that money was reallocated to other priority areas. Now, what is the way forward? The land is there. Some work has been done. What is the way forward to making sure that this has to be done? And I also told you that as we speak, there's a team led by uh, Dr. Joy Sai, who is a member of the uh, Board of Trustees, going around trying to get people to come in and support, which is... Uh, the major parts of where the funding would have been come I mean, from anyway. From all the letters that I have cited of uh, revered men of God pulling out of the board of trustees, I don't think any of them stated in their letter that they were against the project. It was a matter of managerial approach and uh, approach to fundraising and all that. I don't think any of them in their letter stated that they are against that putting up that edifice. Right. So now what is the way forward? Dr. Bahamia met the uh, clergy. I mean, let's assume 
without admitting that 58 million has been spent on it. Are we going to let that 58 million that we've all contributed in that sense of it go down the drain? I don't think so. So the church, there has to be a broader consensus. The church, private sector, everybody who believes that something like this should be there, contribute to it so that government doesn't come in, it's the people and uh, facilitated by uh, the board, private sector individual. And I believe that individuals, uh, and that is why I made an example with the national mosque. It was a uh, Muslim businessman, uh, Turkey, and it was even built on the Blue Mosque. I have been to the Blue Mosque before, so when I see it, I can relate to it. Who did it? And it's also a way of uh, enhancing the friendship between Ghana and the Turkish government. And when it was being handed over, the president of Turkey then came and was part of it. If we so the believe, Turkish government built it for us free? By, but the, who gave us the land? The land was given by who? Okay, so, so we donated land. Kevin, you remember that a mosque was demolished at, to build a, a, so we donated a, a land. land was there. And President Rollins gave that land to Chief Imam in 1995. And that was, the, that was the land that was given for the building of the thing. Do we agree that it's something that we need? If it's not something that we need, why not? Let's, let's let it go down. But the way forward is us coming together. Lorato, um, yes, you've seen the states yes. as ah. it is. Yes. If, Paparo, if, you the the position, is if you were in a position, if you were in a position beyond where higher up, and there's a so there. when, foundation. when it rains, water won't gather in okay. it. No, 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 no. Water if, won't if gather you, in if it. If you take a look at, forget about the water. If exactly. you take a look at it currently, look and, and it, we look and we and, and we have thing. sunk fifty-eight million, million dollars. Paparo, uh, I need, like I said, I need to go into the details of it and know that this, this, this. You know, you know, foundation actually costs more than the superstructure. Especially when you are building an edifice of, of that. You can ask engineers and all that. We may have issues with the approach. We may have issues. In, but what prevents right. us from Orderly. doing an audit mm. on it okay. and making sure that right. the money that was spent has been spent and spent okay. for things that it was supposed to be used for?